Braining Camp is a new software available to math teachers in Lynchburg City Schools in grades K through 8. And I just wanted to do a quick, quick run through about how to access Braining Camp, how to access their manipulatives, share them with students, live mode, and um, ready made tasks. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go sign in to ClassLink. And once I'm on my ClassLink dashboard, I'm going to be looking for that Braining Camp icon. So if I scroll down, I think mine's right here on the left, uh, right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And it takes me right to the home screen, which it, I can see all the map manipulatives available to me. So depending on the grade level that I teach, some of these manipulatives will be more useful to me than others. I can also see I have um, some webinars I can attend to get more information. And every manipulative on this dashboard includes its own tutorial on um, how to use. So I'm not going to go through how to use every one of these manipulatives. Braining Camp has offered great short tutorials to help you, but I will show you how to access those in the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick one. I'll do XY coordinate board, for instance. When I click on a workspace, I can share it as it is, or I can edit it. So this would be something that I may just have presented in the front of the class, and I'm using it as a virtual manipulative for me. Students all have Braining Camp in their class link as well, so it might just be a way for them to have a virtual manipulative in front of them. Or you can share your workspace with students in real time. So if you want to know how to use this resource, I can see here, um, maybe I'm new to Braining Camp or I've used it, but not this particular manipulative. In the top right hand corner, you will have the tutorial that you can play for any of the manipulatives right in the moment. I'm going to go through a couple, but what I'm going through is certainly not extensive at all. I just want to show you some basics. So any of these manipulatives will have resources on the left hand side that go along with that particular manipulative. So obviously in this case, we have bands and points. Um, you can go ahead and drag these manipulatives into your workspace. You also have the option of text box where you could create a problem for a student. And because I'm recording, it doesn't want to it's being a little weird, but I could create a problem for students to solve. I could change the font size, change the color of the problem, so forth and so on. So you'll realize that in Braining Camp, the tools accessible to you are pretty intuitive. You can figure out what they mean pretty clearly and easily. I have a pen tool in most of my manipulatives, an eraser tool, a highlighter. You'll also see that in my settings, I have some additional options for scaffolding with students. Um, and each of these scaffolds or settings for this workspace is obviously going to be different depending on which one you are using. Now, let's say I created a problem for students and I perhaps put some points on here to create a line. And then I wanted to also give them some points and have them figure out locate them on the coordinate plane. So obviously I'm not going to give them the ordered pair or the data table. That's what I want them to figure out. So maybe I modeled with the red points and I'm, I want to give it to the blue. Well, to share this workspace with students, I can share giving them a code or in a live session. So if I give them the code, they will see this workspace just how I have it. And then they can manipulate it on their own. If you want them to turn it into you, they would then have the option, just like I do, once they've figured out the problem, to download the image, and then they can attach it to their Google Classroom. So depending on your grade level, that might seem like a huge leap. Um, at the middle school level, I know for us, it is something that we're teaching students how to do. Um, so keep that in mind. They can also copy the image and then paste it into a Google Doc or a Google Slide as well, you may need to teach that step if 
you want them to follow through with that. It may just be that you want them to have a manipulative with them in their small group, on their independent work. It really depends on your purpose. When I create a share link or a code, this will be saved indefinitely. So let's say I am teaching this um, on a Tuesday to one group of students, but I want to share the same workspace with students Wednesday in the morning with another group of students. This link and share code will still be good um, after this one time. So I would keep these links and share codes in a, in a space and I will show you a spreadsheet I created um, that you can use or you could create your own. So the other option, sorry, was a live session. When you create a live session, your students will all get their own individual copy of this workspace that you will see below. So I'm gonna click on this. Sometimes it slows down my uh, screencasting here, but we're gonna, we'll give it a shot and see. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this live session. We'll see if it loads. Okay, students would join by this code, right? They would go to class link, they would click on Braining Camp, and then they would go to the upper right-hand corner. Let's see if it's here, um, if I can get back to it here. They would type in the share code right here, go, and they would see my workspace. So once you have students here, in this bottom section here, I'm gonna try and see if I can highlight, uh, won't let me highlight right now. But in this bottom section here, you would see each of their individual tiles or screens appear in real time. And you can see what students are doing. Students have the ability to raise their hand. Um, and in that hand, it would be red, yellow, or green, signifying if they needed help or if they were good. That You can send students a message in this. You can also push individual changes to students. So let's say you had a student that was really struggling. You could then edit this um, workspace and push it. This would push it to all students, but in this lower section, once you had the students there, you could uh, push that scaffold to an individual student or group of students uh, to differentiate your instruction, which is incredible. So then I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna exit this live session. If you want more information about hosting a live session, reach out to your ITRT or a fellow math instructor to give you more information. Another great thing about Braining Camp, and that's what we're gonna end with today, are their resources. So aside from webinars um, and tutorials, they also have tasks that are ready-made lessons created for you to use in your classroom. So I do wanna say that these are aligned um, to Common Core, so they may not correlate exactly with Virginia State standards. You, For example, I found a sixth grade task here that really for Virginia is a seventh grade standard. It was a um, two-step equation, I believe. So do keep that in mind. Just because you click grade six, that may not be perfectly aligned for Virginia. Um, they also have tasks in Spanish for your EL students or your bilingual students, if that's something that you need. I'm just gonna choose one of these at random. And when I open up my task, you'll see kind of like a lesson plan already made for me. And uh, it gives me some launching points and some questions that I can ask. It gives me an extension activity um, and some ways to talk about math. So it really has a lot of resources already here for you to use in your lesson plan. What's most important is this share code. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this share code. I go back to my homepage and I'm gonna paste that share code. Oh, that's giving me an invalid. I have found this more than once to be the case that I had to put it in twice. Um, I have never had a problem with it eventually loading, but I have had to do it more than once. And I don't know if it's user error or just something funky with Braining Camp, but that is not, um, it, if it doesn't work once, just try it again. So you can see my workspace here. Um, based on that task, and I would go ahead and share it. If I felt like my students little, needed a little more, or I didn't want it just 
exactly how it was. I wanted to make some adjustments. I could then adjust it and then share it with students. But this is great. You can see the directions here below. Again, um, I can unlock this. I can make it larger for my students and I have total access to edit this and then share with my students. So the ready-made tasks I can see really being a time saver for everyone. So that's Branding Camp in a nutshell. Again, it is available to math teachers and LCS in grades K through eight, those teaching um, through eighth grade coursework, I should say, not just the teacher itself, but if you teach up to an eighth grade level course. I hope this helps and reach out to your ITRT if you would prefer some additional help.